In this video, we will explore some features on the Hub. All these features will be accessible from the parent profile. Recently, we purchased a few courses and we would like to refresh our account to find them. We click on the gear icon in the top right or our parent name or picture. In the personal information box is a click here link to refresh our account. Going back to the courses tab, we can see our account has been refreshed and our new courses are available to assign. From our parent profile, we can see that our students are not in any order. We can move them into any order, but we would like to use grade order. Here we can see the three lines next to the students. If we click and hold one, we can move it. We move Tanner to the top since he's the youngest. And now they are in grade order. Back in the parent profile, we click on our student, Addie. Scroll down to the customization box. Notice the late lessons notification time frame. We as the parent can control when the late alerts show up for each individual student. We can also turn it off by choosing never in the drop down box. Scroll back up to the student information box and click the save in order to save those changes. Notice the bell icon at the top has dropped Addie from the list and the calendar no longer shows those blue late bubbles. Back in the parent profile, we want to assign a course to our sixth grade student. Complete the form for English 6 textbook course. This student likes to work in a block schedule, so we can schedule up to six lessons per day. If you are scheduling a video course, make sure your projected end date is before your product lease expires. We have decided to change our schedule from a block schedule to one lesson per day, four days a week. From the Courses tab, click on English 6. Click on the gear icon Course Settings. Inside the pop-up is the details we set when we assign the course. We want to use this Change Schedule After Starting toggle. Notice this box is now the date of the first incomplete lesson. We want to add Monday, Thursday, and Friday to give us a four-day work week, and we change the lessons per day to one. We would like to add a lesson to our week and complete all labs on Friday. We begin on the Courses tab and click the details of the course. Click the Add a Lesson button. We fill out the form and notice the Insert and Shift lessons under the date. This will shift all future lessons forward. Going back to the calendar, we can see that our new lesson has been added. The system has moved all future lessons forward one day. In this example, we want to move this lab in physics to another day. We click Edit, and then at the bottom in the lesson, we choose Lesson 17. Now we have Lab 3.1 and 3.2 on the same day. On the Calendar tab, we need to add our co-op days for this semester to the calendar. Click Add Event and complete the form. We want to add this event to all students since we attend as a family. Our co-op meets once a week on Wednesday for 12 weeks. Since this is a repeating event, we want to change the end date to the last Wednesday in April. Our co-op is an all-day event, so we want to shift all lessons. Going back to the calendar, we can see the system has shifted all lessons forward and left Wednesdays as co-op days. Back on the calendar, we notice this student has been working ahead. We want to move those lessons to today and shift future lessons. Click the Reschedule tools and choose Shift Lessons Completed Early. We choose which course to apply this to and click Reschedule. Now we have shortened the projected end date of the course. We need to reschedule some lessons to allow for an appointment on Friday. Here we can see the appointment has been added to the calendar, but we need to move our lessons for that day. We can simply drag the lesson to a different day and the hub will move it. Notice that it does not shift all future lessons. This feature is just a quick option to move a lesson from one day to another. 
In this example, we need to move some lessons to a Saturday. This would be a non-school day for us, so we want to drag the lesson to Saturday. The pop-up window is explaining how this works. Notice if we shift forward to a non-school day, this will not change our projected end date. We are not adding another day to our school. We are simply moving lessons to another day and skipping the original day it was scheduled on. However, if we shift lessons backwards to a non-school day, we will shorten our projected end date. All lessons in the future will move back one school day. From the calendar tab, we want to look at the week of December 4th. We notice there are only four lessons on each day. This might have been because lessons were skipped. To check, we can use the toggle to show these lessons that were skipped on these days. Back on the calendar, we have moved our lesson to Saturday. Notice the undo button at the top right. This button will appear when we have rescheduled a lesson. This button will be available once a change has been made and can be used until we reach the last change that was made. Notice that if we navigate away from the calendar tab and come back, the undo button disappears. This feature will work on any calendar tools except adding events since these can be deleted. These features make it easy for you to tailor the hub and BJU Press Homeschool curriculum to fit all your homeschool needs.